She is incredible. I, I honestly, I don't think I could ask for anybody better to drive Graham to school. Hi, I'm Roxy Carrigan and I drive a special needs bus. I've been driving special needs for 23 years. I love doing it. It's a challenge and it's just rewarding. And this arm. Have a good day, little girly. Most of them get excited, the, the young ones. Yeah, I mean, they're happy to see me. Oh yeah, I sing to them. Not that I'm a good singer, but I try. <laughs> and I make up some songs for them. Have a little gram. Funny different things. And then they'll get to laughing and, you know, they like that. It's just, they're such sweet kids and lovable. And, and they just want you to care and show them some attention. I mean, they all get attention at home. I'm not saying that, but you know, they still like it and they want to be treated just like everyone else. And that's what I always try to do. You know, they're not different than any other kid. I think they put a lot of trust in me, you know, and they're kind of like my grandkids, you know, that's how I feel about them. And they give me confidence and I give them confidence. Hi, I'm Desiree Forbes and I'm Graham's mom. So I first met Roxy when she started driving Graham in, I believe it was January of 2019, when he started in preschool. It was definitely challenging to want to give that trust. Anytime you're putting a child on the bus, you know, you have that concern about they're riding to school, they're going to a new place that they've never really been to before. But you have to give that, that trust to the bus driver. But when you have a child who can't tell you what's going on verbally, and you have to just kind of go off of their emotional cues or, you know, he was learning how to sign, things like that. Um, it is a little more challenging to give that trust. And to see Roxy's response to Graham and him going to school um, and being so caring and so warm and so open just made it that much easier to be okay with putting him on the bus to go to school because I know at the end of the day that she has his best interest and his safety, you know, in, in mind. I love my job, I love my kids. They'll always have a place in my heart, all of them.